Richman family got a shocking delivery on their lawn last month. Crime Insider John Burkett explains why 80,000 pennies were put on their lawn and how they're using the money to help those in need. What looked like a landscaping trailer dropped a pile of pennies in front of a window mailbox last month. A deep run graduate says it's been hard trying to make sense of it. If a penny is worth a thousand words. I just turned 18. Certainly 80,000 of the coins will help Avery Sanford tell her side of the story. When I was in the middle of class, my dad came by. Um, he had rented a trailer. The Deep Run senior will spend the summer at home before venturing to Virginia Tech for her freshman year. He pulled up in front of our house, like turned the trailer on, so it dumped out all the pennies in the street in front of our house. And my mom walked outside while it was happening. She didn't recognize him at first, and she asked, what are you dumping on my lawn? And he said, it's your final child support payment. And that's when she realized who it was. Never thinking she'd have to use a snow shovel in the summer to scoop up some domestic drama. It's not just her that he'd be trying to embarrass. It's also me. It's also my sister. And it's upsetting that he doesn't really consider that before he did this. Once the pennies were picked up, Sanford and her mom decided to flip the script. Her mom donating her daughter's last child support payment, every penny, to Safe Harbor, a domestic abuse shelter. Turning around and donating that money to moms and children in need, like I feel like that just really turns the situation into like a positive one. Like you can learn a lesson from it. A lesson Avery's teaching. She hasn't spoken to her father in years. She says the penny incident proves she made the tough but right decision to stay clear. And she has no interest in having a relationship with anyone who disrespects her mother. It is really hurtful and damaging to your kids when you do things like that. And it doesn't matter how old your kids, it doesn't matter if they're uh, a young child or an adult. The actions of your parents will always have some effect on you. Avery's mom did file a police report with Henrico County Police. I spoke to her father tonight on the phone. He tells me it was just 18 years of frustration built up. His emotions got the best of him. And the last thing he wanted to do was to put a further wedge between him and his daughter.